Why have you guys struggled with the lead this season? It seems like you're much better when you're scraping from behind. Why is having a big lead troubled you guys, do you think? I think because we get anxious to like try to put the team away, and we all just um, start taking shots and not falling, and we're not getting stops at the other end, so it kind of hurts us. Was their zone basically daring you guys to try to shoot from the outside? Um, a little bit. Coach told us just uh, get our feet set, knock it down, don't worry about that. But we weren't getting stops at the other end, I think. That, that's was, why they came in. Was there anything differently they did in the second half? Because y'all were all, y'all, I believe, 6 of 10 from 3 in the first half, 1 of 13 in the second. Was it, or was it just not falling? Uh, we just weren't falling. We were taking bad shots when we got up to We weren't even using the clock. We were just out there playing like we were still down. But, um, yeah, just kidding. Yeah. When a coach is on the sideline telling you guys to do that and that's still going on, is that frustrating to you guys that that you're not, not able to follow what you've been told to do? Uh, no, we just, I, don't, I really don't know what it was. I just know, like, when you're out there on the court, it's just, like, all fast-paced. So, I, I, you look back now and say, oh, we could have did this, but that's when coach tells us we got to stay locked in during the game. So... Um, is it easy to look right now and think that you guys could be sitting here 4-0? Oh, yeah, definitely. Easy. How frustrating is that that you're kind of back to square one? You got to bounce back. Come, come this way, you got two tough road games, so you got to get focused on what's next.